<laughs> Hi everyone. So today I found this little, little intelligent device in our warehouse. So I thought uh, let's talk about this Tigo optimizer or a Tigo optimizer, however you want to pronounce. In this quick two to three minutes video, and find out uh, benefit of this device. A small disclaimer: uh, I'm not making this video to uh, promote any brand or trying to sell any product. Uh, we have used this product and I have gathered most of the information from the website and um, the technical information um, about the, uh, about this product. So let's begin. Also, uh, before I start the video, don't for I, I just want to mention that don't forget to subscribe the channel and please press the bell icon so that you get a latest update of my video. I know the channel is not that entertaining, but your uh, small subscription uh, keep me motivated to make more videos so let's begin like all right so this Tygo energy is a california based solar panel optimizer company the company started in 2007 it's it's a little device which take 10 seconds to install uh, no ground wiring required it just straight away goes underneath the panels it takes only 10 seconds it's a water resistance rust resistance and corrosion resistance as well it has a four five um, five sorry five model but this tsa4 is the popular one because it have all the it has all the function which most of the models have so it is suitable up to it is suitable for up to 700 watt solar module it allows each panel to work more independently of the other panel mainly we use this tygo inverter uh, sorry optimizer for a five reason First of all, uh, in the, for a panel optimization, obviously panel-wise monitoring, but you need to buy a separate uh, equipment for that, uh, for the rapid shutdown feature. Uh, number four, where we have a shading issues or a shading shaded area with the, with the reduced uh, setback ratio. Number five, where we have unequal string length, you know, mixed orientation and area of mismatch. Let's quickly understand how shading actually impact the overall production. That's why we need this. Obviously, you all know the little bit of shade on one of the panel reduces the output of all the panel which are wired in the series or you can say in that string. All right. So how do you look like uh, look this as a logically if you have a 10 panels and uh, each panel is producing 100 watt then total is a thousand watt which means it's producing one kilowatt in an hour now all of the sudden if one of the panel got a shade then uh, it can only put and that panel can only produce 50 watt then due to that inverter and panel logic now we would have would lose half of the power just because of that culprit panel uh, culprit no it's it's not I would I won't say culprit because it's not panels for it may may be happening due to the bird uh, due to the dirt due to your neighboring uh, trees or something your tree sometime due to the house structure and most importantly how the Sun travels now also in some cases I would say walls what are the reasons like overhangs valleys chimneys satellite dishes and extra extra anyways these are these days, the panel comes with the bypass diodes functionally functionality, which means the panel itself got the string. If the panel is significantly shaded, the solar panel diodes will engage. As a result, the shaded portion of the panel will be bypassed, and and the and the shaded cell string won't produce any power. But at least it won't drag the other panels down as well. Now, so you might be thinking that if the panel have that feature, then why? we want to use this Tygo optimizer what's the need of this it's slightly technical but I'll explain you uh, in a simple way that before a bypass diode has the time has the time to engage this Tygo optimizer see the impedance caused by the shade and open the bypass funnel to match the impedant current so this allow the inverter to work at a higher current uh, without affecting the solar panels bypass diode. So long story short, if you have these kind of issues on your roof, you should consider going with this Tygo or a Tigo optimizer. It may increase your cost by 100 to 200 dollars each panel, but in the long run, it's good good for your system because. These optimizers prevent 
you know shaded panel before bringing the whole string down that's 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 why i i like this product also optimize the panel and it also allows shaded panel to produce something or a better than the non optimized optimized panel so if you have very late shaded issue at least it's producing something lastly in the long run optimizer actually protects solar panels diver as well for the burning out so for the warranty wise as well you know if you have this scoot these are there are solar edge and huawei optimizers are available in the market uh, they are they also do the similar thing as well hopefully this video help you to understand this little bad boy uh, thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe the channel